here's how to internally record audio on your Mac. Um, I'm gonna load up like you know like a random mix or something. Um, this is like a r mix I have that I made, so I'm gonna play it. So now let's say that's streaming, or it's basically in a capability that I can't download it, but I want to have the audio file. Here's how you record it through your Mac, and the benefit of recording internally is that you're not hearing any audio. So let's say if I were to record externally right now and play this, you'd hear everything that's happening out around me, and basically every single thing that the microphone is picking up, and the sound quality wouldn't be that good anyway. So obviously you definitely want to record internally, and here's how you do it. The first thing you want to do is download a program called Soundflower. So I have it downloaded, you know, I'm going to open it up up here. Soundflower is a free program, it's amazing to use, and it's basically a virtual internal audio router. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to System Preferences, Sound, and don't worry about Input. So under Output, I'm going to hit Soundflower. That means that now any audio that gets put into the Mac is being routed through Soundflower. So the next thing I'm going to do after I route it is go to Audacity. I'm going to go to Preferences, and under Recording, I want to make sure device is Soundflower. Basically what this is doing now is I'm outputting any audio that happens on my Mac and inputting it into the recording device in Audacity. So now when I hit OK and I hit Record, anything that happens on my Mac is going to be internally recorded in Audacity. So if I hit Play and then Record, it's going to record this. Now quick side note, Soundflower is a really cool feature where you can hear the internal audio that's happening on your Mac, but it's not going to interfere with the recording process. So, under here, you either see none or built in output. That basically means that, let's say I have this playing, right now you can't hear it, even though internally it's playing on the Mac. Right when I hit built in output, it's now outputting through my speakers. Nice. So I'm just going to turn that off real quick. That's a great feature because let's say you're streaming something and you kind of want to leave your laptop alone and go do something for an hour if you're streaming something and you don't want the music to be playing and if people are around you and they get annoyed or whatever the situation is, you can just hit none and it's still going to have the same effect. So right now this is playing. You can't hear it, obviously. If I hit record on Audacity, you can see how it's recording. Basically everything that this is playing or anything in turn that's happening on my Mac, but it's not going to record me talking right now, which is the best benefit. Like say if it's something I'm streaming and I do want to listen to it, all I can hit build and output. And as you can see, it's not affecting the recording at all. So whether this is none or built in output, basically whether I can hear it or not, is not going to affect the internal audio whatsoever, even though I'm talking right now and making this video. So let's say this is what I want. I'm going to hit stop. I'm just going to pause this. And here's the audio, you know, I mean, obviously it depends how long you want it to be. And then file, export, and then export it as an MP3 or WAV or however I want.